All right, people, welcome back to the Fix Podcast. Now we're here, Ari here, Javi here, and with our second guest of the night. Yeah. Even though we might just put out that one we did before this as a separate interview. We don't know where to finish it. Our one, but very special guest. The owner, the organizer, mm-hmm. the chief person in charge. Mm-hmm. A CPI, we just create that. That title. Daniel. Of long story short, here we go. Bless up, sir, Thank in the you. building. Daniel T. Edward. Yes. Da- Daniel T. Edward. I forgot the T. I forgot the T. Important components. All right, you have a middle initial in your name. You know, all right. Like Stephen A. Daniel T. Wait, what T stands for? T stands for Tafara. 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 Oh, oh okay. nice. Imperial Majesty. Okay, yes. so your family is Rasta yes, oriented, yes. I'm assuming. Father's a Rasta, Makes mother sense. was a Rasta, yes. Was a Rasta? Sense. So oh, she was a Rasta. She, she come out of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> much like yourself, it would seem. <laughs> yeah, my, my father still a, still a whole hand strong. Yes. So, so where you find yourself? Yeah, which tribe? I am I am now, I would say I'm spiritual, not religious. Ah. I, don't be, I don't subscribe to any religion. The only, mm. only religion that kind of appeals to me might be Buddhism. <laughs> No. Mm. Really Peace, a yeah, it's just about like a way of life. Yeah, yeah. you I find your you tribe. find your interpretation <laughs> of what resonates with you. Wait, no, he might laugh off of me which mm. tribe. The twelve tribe that drew that name something there. For yes, Rasta. Yeah, that, my father. It was the a tribe. correct thing. All right, that does. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> and then if, if I was in twelve tribe, no, then would I say I'm a Danite. I'm I, from the tribe of Dan. No. Uh, wow, you feel like your father is really like. Oh uh, yeah. Deep. Oh yeah. Look, them call it article. Yeah, yeah man, man, deep, deep, deep in that, bro. Deep. It yeah. makes yeah. sense, me. Cause we know them brother from um with Rasai. Mm-hmm. That's something I get from me the first time. Ah, right. yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So your mom say, so you say your mom was say it's just like she she just give it up. Like, can you just? She got disillusioned. She got mm. things happened and then she didn't. She wasn't happy with how it was running. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she cut her locks and, she, and everything. She never had locks. Oh, okay. She had a fro, you know. Yeah. One oh. of them though, yeah. Natural Natural Rasta. Rasta. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Because remember, say you couldn't. You remember, say no, no, no locks is cool, auntie. Mm-hmm. You couldn't have. You couldn't have a, a job and wear locks. Go, go, go oh, your job yeah, 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 like them long time there, yeah. So, so for, as a matter of fact, I know people just wear them locks. I went to a bank the other day and I was surprised to see, I went to Scotia, um, Kansan Spring, mm-hmm. and I used to have them locks. Wow. I had to send a picture to my father. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah well, Jamaica yeah. So has ironic, definitely we just become more tolerant. Yeah, yeah. 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 Line places. Even though I kind of was like, <laughs> with the 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 Kensington, the mm-hmm. girl of Kensington, I was like, hmm. really? what was your issue, Ari? I think <laughs> because the thing is, I know play because I got to school with Rastas. Mm-hmm. I've been to school from prep school to high school where nice people so. have dreadlocked nice hair. So. Mm-hmm. so it's just like I'm saying, like certain school don't if if a school don't believe in your policy, why force the school to believe in your policy? Really? Yes, I just think it was like that's an a, unnecessary that's, that's fight. A, that's the stance you're going with. No, I just thought mm-hmm. it was an unnecessary fight. I be, no, I, I get the principle of it, but I'm like, just put your kid in a school that agrees with your no, beliefs. because this has to be eradicated now. Mm. We, are, we, we, are, we, are, we are Africans and this is the home of Rasta. We're, mm-hmm. we're in 2023 now and mm-hmm. we're fighting these archaic rules. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the, the picnic locks them neat. Mm-hmm. True. And then we're going to just roll over and move on and move on. And that's how change change comes from those drastic, drastic actions. Mm-hmm. True. So Rosa Parks will say, well, I can't bother. Me just sit down in my back here. Then where would it be? No? Where would it be? Listen, no? she let's not pretend no? like she did it immediately as an implement. She did tired, so you know it's just wow. like after a while, <laughs> you know wow. you gotta be tired. Yeah, when well, everybody <laughs> gets to a point when yeah, they're tired, tired of it, yeah, you're tired of it, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but I'm just saying, like you know, I mean, I I agree with, I understand the fight, but I just mm-hmm. thought it was an unnecessary fight because no, again, it's, I, it's not like it's every school in Jamaica that have that 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 belief. But then again, it's not easy to just move your child from one exactly. school to another. Yeah, like, there are many factors that, that affect yeah. that mm. decision. She have friends so. doing well and, are, and, are, and then now 
they're going to teach their child now that when they go into the into the world now people can't push them around because of them hairstyle they mm-hmm. also make a stand yeah. but, but your, some mom, people but your do, mom didn't your mom was rasta but yes. she conformed to the the, the notions no, of mother, society this, this wasn't this was in the early 70s yeah. when rasta just are coming now mm-hmm. right and she was a flight attendant you cannot mm-hmm. have locks by ear jamaica mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so she had, she had the fur and, and as a matter of fact i don't think they wasn't even pushing the locks on them like that. It was more being a part of the doctrine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was not, it, I don't think, I don't get the sense that that was really where, that was where it was going and that them, that force officer, boy, I have, mm-hmm. have. Yeah. But them wear them banner when them got the, the meeting them mm-hmm. and them something there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like conform, well, who we could have another yes, discussion? Yes, it, <laughs> is. it is, it is, it was a level of conformity. Yeah. And at the same time. But it's like know, a fight, like, but I understood. There are like stages so, in the battles. Yeah. There, there are stages, there are phases and stages in a war. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for, at first, you're probably just fighting team, get an identity of your religion being accepted. Yeah. Then that come in. Then they do the next thing and the next thing. Mm-hmm. No, 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 reach the tail end now, which is a superficial part, which is just the here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That, that nowhere yeah. there, you know. Yeah. Have, yeah. No, it's time to move past that. Yeah, so Which probably is true. People I do. Pay it as like a restaurant thing. Say, ah, mm-hmm. them them people are now going good. I'll just mm-hmm. take my business to a next place. But then, as Javi said, it, it mm-hmm. yeah, it's not easy for move a kid to a next school mm-hmm. just like that. Come like say even, some even Bob Marley's kids didn't have locks in high school. You know, they went mm-hmm. when them got jarred. them Ziggy and um Ziggy and um <coughs> Stephen. They never had locks. Because I'm like, it was not done kids. then. <laughs> it was not done in the eighties. It was yeah. not done. You never, you know, wear locks. Is after that? No, nineties. No, yeah. you see them have them little locks and thing. And, and then, I mean, in the music mm-hmm. industry, it was so pervasive. Like almost everybody had like locked hair. Yeah, I feel like. yeah. Nineties yeah, yeah. is when no, it became when this the rise of sizzle and them man. You know, it started to become cool. You no, know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's cool to have locks. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. it's accepted mm-hmm. and thing. But when me I go high school. I don't remember nobody. I, I think I, my father was the only dread at Mona Prep. I went to Mona Prep. I went to Uptown School. Mm. My, father, my father was the only dread there. I don't remember no other dread in my year. Wait, <laughs> like in terms of like uh, the parents, in the parents. Yeah, oh. my father was the only dread. I never seen nobody, no, no other um, dread parents with the locks and everything there. Did you find that there were like people were discriminating against you? No, like? there wasn't any discrimination. No, mm-hmm. wasn't any discrimination. It's like, don't play with Daniel. Like. No, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that would no, like, that, not that never go out with me there. No, mm-hmm. yeah. no, no. I never go out with me Well, you well, never it, know. It would happen with you because your father never have locks. So I guess at that area. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. you know kids. parents talk mm-hmm. and I's like, he's that Daniel fellow. I mean, yeah, his dad has yeah. locks. Oh, no. with, I don't know. Well, I don't know if that would be the time amongst parents but yeah. I, I may never see that with other kids at no me, kids no. won't but yeah. in a sense where sometimes like we hear when our parents talk and then yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. that so that my mommy say down. I must talk to you yeah. because whatever yeah it's like, like my I mom never, said don't play in my hair I mean mm-hmm. I don't mean, know of that going on in schools well maybe not That's for you at your time, time. time. No. with parents but uh, notice 90s mm. 90s uh. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh, you know that it is. He yeah. said it. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I yeah, never go up to school to you. Yeah, yeah. everybody go up to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, my question was fair because Yo, I know. You'd have, yeah. You have for you know job because according to the comment section, I go up to school from the day I was born. Which wow. school you go? Which school? I do. One I. Okay. So it could be you see where people would say, oh, you're uptown for you. Yeah. Middle of the road. It's, it's it's middle of the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that's like what I'm middle, <laughs> middle of the road. Yeah, uptown school. Like, no, middle of the road. Good yes. track team. Very good track team. Yes. Them yes. We know, were the one that started. Oh, my liberty. Mm hmm. Them wouldn't say that. Mm. Yeah. It was oh, it's about just yeah. two or stop trying to win the oppression awards, whatever. <laughs> yes. like, uh. It's from the story of the truth. It's whatever. 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 It's Uptown adjacent, but okay. <laughs> here, right? but she been uptown for quite some time. Like she fully assimilated to the Millicent uptown, comes like. over and washes and and yeah, yeah, yeah. cooks for <laughs> her. <laughs> brunches, yes, yes. pool parties. It never is delivered. That's fully yeah. inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> Javi, I lie. That's I lie, not true. Daniel said yeah. Millicent come oh. over and wash it. It's not on the Millicent. Oh, Millicent. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, yes. but, but pool parties <laughs> and the pool parties. Yeah. Are, okay. That's only totally inaccurate, you know, and I don't appreciate your, you know, 
telling tall tales, he right? Upper Saint Andrew. But I think it's a good. I think it's a good thing though. We, you know, we don't we don't want black people to only dominate poverty. You know? Yes, right. Yeah, you know, yeah, so you know? Yeah. awkward more Yes, big. but I mean, rich. Yeah. I don't appreciate your accuracy. Yes, well, rich a lie. Well. <laughs> Yeah, man. Well done, progress. Uh, God is good. God is God good. God is indeed good. <laughs> All oh, the time. Right. And then we're going to talk about a long story, Shana. Oh, oh, that thing I thought about. Yeah. This ah. whole movement, this creation. Mm-hmm. So once upon a time, not long ago. There we go. There was a burnt out, frustrated life insurance agent. Wow. Who after 10 years in his career, was struggling to find meaning and purpose in life. Wow. wow. Until a friend gave him the idea for long story short. Yeah. It was you. So I'm a <laughs> name, Kevin Wallin. So in 2015, I got to a point now where I, I hit a wall in my life hmm. around 2009. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So so we have, back, we have a background in the creative space. So I'm a little youth. Mm-hmm. Public speaking, performing arts, acting, mm-hmm. all of them things. I end up in the corporate matrix and start to, and start to kind of morph into a corporate person. You know, me, I wear the suit and tie every mm-hmm. day. I start to drink the Kool-Aid now and, I, and I'm yeah, working to really climb the corporate is a matrix. ladder. <laughs> yeah. me, I tell them at Sajikor and thing, I'm doing well and I, I've, I've lost myself in this corporate matrix now. Wow. Mm-hmm. In, the, in the dream of, you know, buying the, buying the BMW and doing well and I hit a wall in life. And I'm just like, this can't be life. This can't do. Sell, 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 sell. Retire, get cancer, and dead, and that that would that would be my life. Well, yes. God damn, <laughs> so I'm kind of extreme. Not yeah. the beast. Oh, wow, feeling trapped. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I have to get back into the creative space somehow, mm. some way. And I I I got to a point where I realized I needed a mentor. Mm. Yeah, because I grew up as an only child. Oh wow, mm-hmm. grew up as an only child. Never have no big brothers. I mean, I have a, a big brother and sister, but I never knew them. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I promise I need some mentorship. So I met a brethren on him, Kevin Wallen. So Kevin Wallen is a brethren now who is a wrestler, a life coach. He was mentored by Hurricane Carter mm-hmm. from the movie The, the oh, Hurricane. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So he went yeah. trouble Jamaica and went to Canada, got into wrestling, and that saved him. And like professional him. wrestling or like no not not Hulk Hogan not oh Hulk Hogan. okay that's what I want to like no, okay no. actually like the Olympics one yeah yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. so me and him start so in the 2020 me and him start paring out so I'm in, up in his cabin now this is a rustic cabin up in a garden town way up so be above the sun mm. when you walk up there now you look down upon the sun wow mm. so we're so me I don't know a poet named Sage mm. Colleen was his girlfriend at the time. So That's all of us such a poet to... name, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we know a little circle now, and what I say, Ari, tell me a story in five minutes or less. Naro, tell me a story in five minutes or less. <laughs> mm. Right, so we all, we all exchanged stories, and I was just blown away by this thing immediately. I've always been addicted to good stories. Mm. Mm. And right away, you know, I'm just, I, I, we, had a, we had a pact that we'd come together and do this thing together. Okay. But I was obsessed with the idea. So I mm. work on the idea, work on the idea, work on the idea, work on the idea now. And my star see the vision now. It's going to be like rising stars. <laughs> American <laughs> Idol. For storytelling. Okay. And you go to, you go to country party. I say, this is Mass Jasper, Ray, Ray, Ray. Mm. The, com- the, the, the Roman for the community. I'm k- I'm tell a good story. Yeah. And you tell a theme story, blah, blah, blah. So I have the whole idea. map out now. And then I'm an avid meditator. Meditating one day, I'm just hear a voice. Cause I'm, I'm, I have all these names now, you know. Story time, true story. Tell me a story. Mm. All type of name now. And then one day I just hear, long story short. Mm. Mm-hmm. Everybody has a story, what's yours? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get the name and the slogan, you know, one. Every, every good brand need to have a good slogan. True. true. Good name, you see the fix? <laughs> Good Your slogan. Still call by night. The fix was sort of hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they have other issues. That's what. That, that, that <laughs> time, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Shake that's on Freudian. So, yeah. <laughs> boom. No, so I have my concept. Now I'm gonna start write the treatment and things. So I'm I'm shopping the idea around now to TV producers. So I have two ideas for two shows now. So I have a, a makeover show for men, mm. like a holistic makeover show for oh, men. Okay. Now. G- yeah, so like, so, so he, he, he go to the gym, he get him learn, he, he learn like a yoga, like a meditation, mm-hmm. he learn some self defense, he learn, he learn some entrepreneurial skills, diet, every like a holistic, 
Like I know, I know the show that comes like straight eye yeah, for the straight guy, guy. Yeah. like yeah. straight yeah. eye for the straight guy. But deeper, deeper. Yeah, okay. that's a non-starter here. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, like it's so a really good show. It's, it's esoteric, yeah, more yeah. esoteric than, yeah. than that one's more surface. So that mm-hmm. one, and then this got the producer now and she say, yeah, I can see the makeover one, but I can't see anybody watching stories. Like, what? Why wouldn't anybody watch stories? Mm. We watch stand-up comedy, we watch yeah. movies, we yeah. listen to songs, we watch mm-hmm. everything. Mm. Everything good upon this earth is a story. story. Yeah, and true. stories are the paint that decorate the canvas of life. Mm. Boom, so Mr. All right, event now. All right, turn into that event now. So I'm going to go check one event, personal one, shall I say. I can't see people paying money to watch stories. I mean, I said, no. And plus, my, my venue is a thousand US. So at this point, now I'm like on the tail end of my career. Now I'm, 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 so this is, there'll be a week now where I put on my suit and tie and make off of the door and just go in my couch. Wow. I'm doing this like three days a week, four days a week. Yeah. Sometimes it does not come out of me. Yeah. And I know insurance is like, you gotta, if you don't sell, you don't make the money. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm stuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, this can't be life. This can't be life. So, I put my tail between my legs. And this is why when you have good ideas, you have to be very careful about who you share your ideas with. True. true. Yeah. People out there. So true. I remember the God force put the idea in you. Mm-hmm. So it's not for them to see it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> or it would have put, or it would have put it in them. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you tell the wrong people, you throw your precious pearls before swine and them just kill the idea and thing. And if you, if, you, if you shake it at that moment, no, you just, you just give up. Right. But we have the idea of bubble now. And then now in 2019, so four years have passed. I'm on the ropes now. I'm just like, yo, my knee for left that job, yeah. God, no. Wow. Call Kevin that and say, Kevin, my knee for left. He said, you're not ready yet. <laughs> you're not ready. And I said, what? Because I, I, I sold this policy. In insurance, when, a policy, when you sell somebody a policy and the policy lapses, mm-hmm. they take that money. May I, may I bust them business? All that money <laughs> comes back out of your salary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, may I push forget to a bonus now. I sell one bridge in order. One bridge say, I want a policy to get a mortgage. Mm-hmm. And it's like, a, it was a good commission, like say about a quarter million dollars mm. of one policy. At the time, that was good money for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, may we have to go high and low to get this policy sold now. Because he's, he's a older guy. So, mm. with our medical requirements oh, and yeah. all type of thing, documents, film business and everything. I'm going to run up and down. It takes about two months. For just and so it, it finally, finally come true. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you know, I was talking to my, my lawyer and he was saying, I don't need to get that. Because he was for a loan. He said, I don't need to get that loan. I'm going to cancel the policy. Ja, ja. I um, said, that's it. He <laughs> said, that, this you is the last mother. time. <laughs> this is the last time I do this. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm over at Grosvenor Cafe you now, talking to, today you saw this jam session down at a place named the Palette. Mm. Okay. Near Kings know. Avenue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kings Plaza. Mm. Nice thing, like, you know, the cultural thing I have, you know, melting pot of people, foreigners, locals, everybody, and them, them, them have spoken word musicians i loved it and then them never have no license or something and them lock it down wow, oh, wow. so there was no jam session so they are grown now and these two musicians are saying boy we need back a jam session so the, so the owner is saying why we don't just have it here but then i say, but how are we gonna sustain it because we don't have enough musician so i'm saying you know we have this idea i have this idea for like a storytelling thing we could merge it with it. them say yes that is it mm. we can merge it with the stories mm-hmm. so i'm saying well i <laughs> we have a name too you know i don't want to force up myself but i have a name too i'm mm-hmm. saying what the name long story short i'm saying yeah man we're gonna run with your name <laughs> and in two weeks we put that thing together yeah mm. so the question is did it take five years or did it take two weeks because the idea they bought from the, two four weeks. years because <laughs> the idea they bought from 2015 yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so put it together in two weeks in the two weeks me and the two guy them fall out judge <laughs> so come Daniel, is it you it's me <laughs> it's me i'll admit it <laughs> i will admit it it was me <laughs> because, wow. because remember, you, know, you have two you have two brother you have two laid back guys who just yeah. kind of want to do this and you have a man who desperately want to live him nine right. to five yeah. mm. I want it. Yeah. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. So them not take it serious. Yeah, me hungry. Take it and I say, yo, yeah. I want to come out of this nine to five like yeah. yesterday, bro. Mm-hmm. So we put it together in two weeks. 
We have so a, a, a trick name, a good friend of mine, um, Patrice Q Soul came on board. Mm. Charles Baker came on board and we, we put together a team. Okay. And we, we're trying to get a lineup. I'm walking in the, the supermarket. I walk up into Mikey Bennett. Mm -hmm. So Mr. B, me need up on an event name, long story. As I made the name, him I light up. That's when I knew I had a good name. Mm. He said, what you say? Mm -hmm. He said, long story short. He said, I'm on it. Oh. We got Rodney Campbell. We got good people from the start. Yeah. The initial, the initial concept was to be a competition. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we had a comedian named Ra Raul Blaze who just, who just was there the night and just impromptu went up and won it. Wow. Because <laughs> it said that like, it have it in mind like as a, as a, a competition. rising star. Yeah. As a oh, competition. yeah. Competition. So, so the first one is a success. 200 people come the, from the very first wow. one. Wow. And then me and, me and Q soul fall out. <laughs> Is it you? <laughs> it was it was me. Once again, yeah. fall out. Yeah. And <laughs> the next show, <laughs> we keep the next show in October and I resign my job. Mm. What the first show to keep by the way? Wow. Grove now. Oh, yeah. That's where it was at Grove now. So mm. I resign. So the second show now I said, I just had an epiphany and I said, this is what I'm gonna do with my life. Mm. I'm gonna resign. So I said, I'm going to resign for my birthday in October and leave January 1st. Wow. Next show I lose money and can't pay nobody. Uh, wow. Still owe some of the artists their money now. Wow. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. Like me, like me, get, like me get ahead of myself. Yeah. So we'll continue. January 1st, chuck off. Done with like this. Like head first. You just have a perfect done. plan now. Yeah. Me, 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 I got to do me. Because I have another business, T180, which is a motivational and transformational business for men and boys. So I do mm. workshops for young men. Okay. So I do dressing for success. Financial literacy, wellness, all of them thing there, mm -hmm. and the, and my thing. Mm -hmm. So the plan is all right. May I go do the may I go do the workshops, do my show. Uh, it's supposed to can work. <laughs> may I go figure it out. Steve Harvey said jump, right? Along. Steve Harvey yeah. said jump. Mm. Yeah. The parachute is not going to open at the same time, but jump. So I'm going <laughs> to chuck off. Everything will listen for yeah. motivation. Yeah. Yeah. You got to talk. Dash are talking to me. <laughs> Dame Dash is like, how can you look at yourself and say you have a boss? How can you say, yeah. My son sells cookies. Yeah. Yeah, son. yeah. You have to come to work. You have to come yeah, to work. Yeah, man yeah, tells yeah. Another man tells you when you have to show up. So yeah. oh, it's your daddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, woman, chuck off the January 1st now, man. And oh, yeah, I think I got good now. I do, do, do my first wellness workshop. I create a wellness program called Move, Breathe, Balance. Mm. And then we have, we have a show in March now, and we have a show in March, and we have Crystal Tomlinson. Crystal Tomlinson come talk about how when she realized that she was dunce for the first time. Mm. Well, wow. She was seven, and she was looking at her paper, and everybody could read, and she couldn't understand anything. And she looked out the window, and she said, I guess that's what it means to be dunce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she went on to win an international debate competition. Yeah, with, with, wow. With man them from the... The, the the Ivy League schools. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. BSC from TOK talked about getting into music in high school and getting kicked out of his house. Wow. And I forgot to live at Craigie T Yard and Flex. So the whole of them I live at, at, at Craigie T Yard at Portmore. <laughs> yeah. And then BSC father turned artist in him as a big man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then BSC, Wow, after he kicked me out. <laughs> and then BSC started to work in his father's business. Wow. wow. And then the rain came down. Yeah. Um, IT talked about going from being um, a philanderer to finding God and now being faithful to his mm -hmm. wife. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm just like, my life is magical. I have a it all figured out. I did Monday morning, mm -hmm. COVID. Oh, yes, yes, I was wondering. Yeah. Depression, right? I'm on the coach, I'm on the oh coach for two God. weeks straight. No way. So I'm on the coach for two weeks straight. So yeah. what is life? Because you get the breath of fresh air. Yes. Like, finally, you leave this job and then. Yes. COVID. So that was like January 2020? Yes. yes. March, March 2020. No, I say yes, I left January 2020. 2020. And then March, yeah. yeah. So the parasol. Yeah. So I, this is, I guess this will be tantamount to me just slamming into the mountainside after my jump out of the plane. That's the whole I'm a shoulder right. ripper. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parachute not open yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're still tugging at the thing. Yeah, I must like. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good analogy. Good analogy. Open, Jackie. bitch. <laughs> yeah. No, the whole I guess is bigger. Yeah. It's like okay. you find that so mm. much people have them stories there where them just mm -hmm. about to start something and then mm -hmm. boom, COVID. Mm -hmm. And like said we that we'd have 
or a brand from a time before would be able to adapt and adjust and people still mm-hmm. did stay with you mm-hmm. like yes yeah try mm-hmm. to get right. something off of the ground mm-hmm. yeah and then here comes this thing oh, or just stop mm-hmm. shit no guys all the people um, so when yeah. you when yeah. you when you um <clears throat> relaunch mm-hmm. is because it's 2020 i mean covid happened for like two years but yeah. you know we're... never stop you never stop no we go for ig live oh. ah. ig live so, two, so two weeks that, went yeah. by and in time when it came for the mountain again we go so boom ig live mm-hmm. which i hate i hate doing ig live mm-hmm. how you got mm-hmm. the idea like we just watch what I go on. Mm-hmm. Wait, you say everybody mm-hmm. everybody was doing yeah, yeah, IG yeah, yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I was like, all right, guess we're going to have to do IG lives. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're on my dining table now and people like Sheldon Shepard from the Nomads. Tammy Chin give you a strength. Oh, nice. Pale Face mm-hmm. coming from England. All kind of interest. Uh, Michael Cushion, the director. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know him. Yeah. Tara Terrible, the dancer. Some interesting people. She was in England. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. For the, was it the Lion Broadway? King. Yeah, when Shadow Lion King yeah. thing. So, yeah. um, so oh, we never miss a beat. Mm-hmm. So we're continuing on in now. Um, governments go so boom and open up back in the summer. We had Tanya. We went to the Haven. Okay. And then Tanya Stevens came and then that was, that we had Raskasa. All them people that come tell the story. Mm-hmm. Breche. Mm-hmm. Um, a lady named Alicia Alyang, a architect from um. A designer from Trinidad. Okay. Mm-hmm. She come talk about she getting into flipping houses and all of them thing the bomb. So then back in at the house again. Mm-hmm. Then we come back in at Christmas. So we had we had three shows during the pandemic. And then now uh, what I when the anniversary came in September, I said I have to do something for the anniversary. I'm going to pre-record a special and sell it. Mm-hmm. online okay oh, so at this point in t- so this is why now this is the beauty now of jumping into uncharted waters mm-hmm. you will develop new skills mm-hmm. <laughs> so i've left my nine to five and now i'm into this in, into this arena now i need to learn how to edit because mm-hmm. i can't afford to edit mm-hmm. i need mm-hmm. to learn how to shoot mm-hmm. but i would have i learned to shoot from my my youtube channel i have the caribbean's first men's channel Mm-hmm. Where's first bit? Total 180. I had a channel called oh. Total 180. Okay, yeah, yeah where, I, yeah. where I did, where I did, where I share like life, lifestyle um, tips for men. Okay. And wellness mm-hmm. tips. Mm-hmm. How to tie a tie, how to know if you have bad breath. Oh, nice. <laughs> Books I for mean, inspiration. If you have a nose, that is. Yeah. <laughs> No, you, you think, right? Think. Yeah. <laughs> Interviewing men of excellence with yeah. test drive care. I, had, I did that for a while. So oh. from that experience, I now know how to shoot at a, at a decent level. We can yeah. shoot things. And then now, Kiki Tams, Kerry Lewis. Yeah. She was my neighbor growing up and she said, listen, you have to go learn how to edit. And I said, no, no, I forgot, I forgot. She said, listen, you will not be able to pay somebody to edit. And she hold my hand and put it on the laptop. <laughs> and say, go so drag it and, uh, and buy Filmora yeah. and start edit. Wow, no, no, I'm, no, I'm a competent editor. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a pro, but I'm a competent editor. Yeah. All, this, all the content that you see on the page is me editing myself. Yeah. Oh, so I'm save money there. So. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I'm a backlan. Richie Feelings come on my yard. Rosie Murray, Mikey, all them came and mm-hmm. we, did a, we did a pandemic. We did um, a special COVID Chronicles. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we edit it and we put it together and we sell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So you, and nice. it got So it got sold. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Friend, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daniel. Friend, 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 me send me send the seven dollar. Me send the seven dollar. Okay. Right, no <laughs> <laughs> so it's been four years now. Yeah. Tell me where you reach mm-hmm. at the line. Yeah. So though, um, we got to a point though where we're at we're at Grovna and it's like something was missing and the numbers weren't getting where they need to be. Mm-hmm. And we had a, another another mentor appeared now, Nicholas Matt David. So it's like what I found is that mentors mentors kept kept appearing. Mm-hmm. So each person just give you another piece of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? That's what happened when you make a step. So Nick has said, no man, you need a new venue, man. Unless if the brother you're not willing to do more, you have to go move. Mm-hmm. So at a meeting and the brother said, no, at this point in time, not willing to do more. Mm-hmm. So it was no, 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 no animosity. Mm-hmm. So we start looking for a new place. So I made a plan for move our next venue and then I make a call to Gareth Daly, mm-hmm. GD Films. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, Gareth, 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 Gareth was coming to the event and Gareth would always give him, him two cents and thing. I'm, I'm really willing to listen. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, you forgot a lot. 
And I said, I'll tell you what the picnic them go, man. <laughs> he said, go look, it have a screen, mm -hmm. it have upstairs, blah, blah, man. Ah, come, he's a man, a very stubborn. This is mm -hmm. why me and people fall out. <laughs> What's your sign? So I'm a Scorpio. Oh, I know, mean, sir. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, we get it, we, we get it done. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We get it done. He's very intense and very passionate. But when you convince yeah. me, I'm on board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, him, him did it with me now, and him, I, like him, I say, you just listen to man. So, I said, all right, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I get invited to this Johnny Walker thing, this this bougie thing. Mm -hmm. So I drive I drive past the lot the night, I look at it, and the first person when I park at the Johnny Walker event over came on as the first person I walk up in I was Craig Fangsa. Yeah, he owns it. He right? just pulled up the same time. Mm -hmm. And I said shit. Destiny. Women's. Mm -hmm. This is a sign. I mean, I'm very aware of Science. when the universe is giving me signals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm tapped in. Mm -hmm. So I talked to him, I said, I want to talk to you about a concept. Because I'd call him before about being a storyteller. Mm -hmm. And he said, no. I said, but I don't see, why would anybody want to talk about themselves on a stage? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> everybody. Up, everybody does that. <laughs> what do you mean? He yeah. said, I'm not get it. I can't see it. Fine. So I said, I'm going to see it tomorrow. I'm going to come check it tomorrow at 12. Mm -hmm. Reach a quarter to 12. Mm -hmm. Not a tip, be early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm reach early now, I'm come down and then Garrett was there, we talk and everything, and we plan out everything now, and I'm still skeptical now. So we draw for Tanya Stevens is our number one celebrity ally. Okay. So she and Deidre, the MC, yeah. are good friends. Mm -hmm. Anything where we do, Tanya is always there. So we go, so boom, now we say we're going to relaunch for January. Mm -hmm. Theme, new beginnings. Mm -hmm. Draw for Craig T. Craig T was one of our best storytellers. Mm. Yeah. Draw for, so at the same Johnny Walker event, mm -hmm. I saw Why Rush. Yeah. <laughs> no, Why Rush from before. Rush, Rush was skeptical to convince him. So we get, we get Megan Tapper. Yeah, oh, yeah. So the same mm. week, me I walk in a day. What the new um, uptown headquarters? There? Um, I don't know uptown. Super, what them Super Value Plaza. Oh, that, yeah. that, that's yeah. that's, that's yeah. the that's the United the, the, the yeah. UN the headquarters. You yeah. sure? Yeah. 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 yeah, you know. Shut up. Are you, you know, to yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you go in your bag of latte, say, you know, but whatever, you know, hop over to Wendy's, you mean him, you mean him, yeah, uptown headquarters, yeah, you know, hop over to Wendy's, you get mm. something, yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know, um, boom, we we'll just run right up in a mega, mega and tapper and our manager, mm. same time, boom, she's on board, mm. so we have the lineup now, huge success for the first one now, place full of people, and we, we're off and running, yeah. And mm. it just kind of just kept mm. going. Yeah, yeah, the numbers weren't the same as when Tanya came. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Tanya, yeah. Tanya dropped. Yeah, yeah. you've been, been able to make it into a weekly series. Monthly, 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 yeah. monthly sorry, monthly mm. series so far. And mm -hmm. it seems like it keep, keep, keeps on growing, keeps on getting us yes. to the audience out. You didn't want to know the story or me discovered. Oh, you just go away. <laughs> Long story short. <laughs> no, I don't think you're really accurate. I, don't I do. I do. He told me. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, well, that's one of them times that way. You know, say so it was a wake up. Mm hmm. I feel a bit of a rumble. Mm hmm. <laughs> but the time it's in your discount. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hear the same with the bubble guts. Really narrow. Yeah, I'm going to step on the tile, just step on the phone. Scroll, 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 scroll. scroll. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm. Yes. That, that these were the thoughts I was like, oh, we can't further, you know. That's what this is <laughs> about. Because yeah. I don't know all me. Yeah. Story, it's like, yeah. But it's like, I, I do need to. Not and then as far as I said, oh, I'm mean, not the better one. Like, mm. you know, listen. See? And I follow the page. And like the next morning, they follow me back. I reach out and say, oh, now. Yeah. 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 Me, a medium, medium, medium narrow, same time. Oh, you did? A medium yeah. narrow. Let me see when him follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. The universe is working. The fix <laughs> has entered the, the energy field. Yeah, but you know, like, field. like, talk about that because I thought, because I saw um, another mm -hmm. 
because I was saying, it's the same person that you were doing with Hope Gardens because I saw somebody had some at Hope Gardens. No, that's and that's what's your story, what, Jamaica. Right. And I'm yes. like, oh, it's the same thing, but you're saying, no, it's completely no, different. That's an annual storytelling competition. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. So I thought, it's always the same thing. He's like, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, so that but, 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 but big up to them, though. Big up to them. Yeah. Uh. But it's like, it's a, so it's a competition like them too. It's like a competition where people come and compete who have the best story. Right. So it's this my original idea. idea but then right. but there's a youth with dead there's a youth with the dead a couple of years ago um andre burn it burn it jesus i'm a brethren <laughs> you know, know, i'm on romanto so energy yeah. Feel yeah. yeah so you know i, mean, I never went to monroe with him but we have monroe friends in common yeah mm. so burn it said don't make it a competition mm. and you know me my stubborn self and then I was getting resistance. He said, people don't want to compete to tell their story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, annual is easy because you, you, you're pulling everybody together for that one time. But yeah. generally, month to month, in other words, like a big celebrity you now, like Beanie Man is not going to come now to try to compete, compete. with you. Yeah. 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 Story. Yeah. These are the type of people you want. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, the mix. I kind of give it a freer feel to right. it. Right. So you know, have, you know, hunker down by this sense of competition. Yes. Right. I have to have the better story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I listen to him. I listen to it just like, it's just like you have to prove, <laughs> yeah. prove, it, yeah. prove it to me still. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm be too married to your idea. I know them really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so this is the way about take somebody else for sure. Say, oh, probably yeah, so him, the him idea. Said, don't make it. It's a great concept, but don't make it a competition. Mm. And I said, no, I'm going to my dad at the fun party. And I said, no. So I listened. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and to be honest, like, I like that it wasn't because it's scary enough to get up and mm -hmm. tell your story in front of exactly and then it was so like is it good because even me i'm like i don't yeah, think anyone like my story i was, I was very much scarier <laughs> tell for them her Ari. because tell she follow me too because i say oh look all the people love nara and all this yeah, 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 yeah. 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 sibling rivalry i'm like Ari, just do your thing just yeah. do your thing listen no I i'm like Ari, you're not gonna be as good as me but just do your, do your thing i had to take a xanax i had to take a xanax okay it was that bad no, 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 it's no. that bad because it's funny enough yeah, because it's, yeah. rock, I like yeah, it's yeah. weird because i don't mind like i you know i do public speaking mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. a little bit like it's nothing mm -hmm. but storytelling yeah we have to tell a story like yep oh my god it, and you know and as a woman mm -hmm. i mean as this particular add person who have like a million well, woman come in yeah throw it yeah yeah play the gender well, card I was now say the gender play the gender thing, card now but then I, as oh, like, woman card oh, but then I made it specifically as women we can't tell our stories yeah, yeah. in public places in the, like, i mean i was no, making it specific sorry. to this add yeah neurotic person who have yeah. like a million yeah thoughts in my head going a million miles yeah, per hour yeah, and i'm thinking yeah. you know like yeah but oh wait and i'm i'm very tangent tangent what tangential tangential, <laughs> tangential. yeah tangential. like i go off on a million <laughs> tangents off. so it was like to say oh crap to keep it mm. here because yes. i'm like yeah. i want you to get the story now but then you know the story yeah. have a backstory and yes. then the backstory have another yes. right <laughs> The problem is that people don't, people, well, I learned this from the experiences that storytelling is the, even though all of us are storytellers, yeah. mm -hmm. the toughest form of public speaking is storytelling. Yeah. Mm. I found out. To keep it engaged and people yeah, like, yeah. you have to be a little funny too. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be funny. You don't no, have to be funny. But you just have to be engaging. Well, true. Engaging. But then yeah. the best engagement is funny. No. Not necessary. No. Not necessarily. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You can't hit you um, can't you can't hit him you can't hit him on different emotions. Just pre just pre the best movies. It's not yeah. Don't have to be comedies. Yeah. But they're very Facts, good stories. But but true, but mm -hmm. you know, I think more memorable stories. I think culturally we mm -hmm. culturally we lean to comedy. Right. Probably. That's how I can't. You know, that's, that's what my, my mm -hmm. literature culturally. teacher was saying, like comedy is cultural, but um, tragedy is universal. I never forgot that mm. saying. Like, everybody can relate mm. to a tragedy, but yeah. comedy is really, as you were talking about earlier, I'll say, you know, some references a girl may not get the go mm. over them head because it's culturally specific to you. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's why I was kind of adamant that this that this show was not going to be another comedy thing because I find that in, in Jamaica, right, when I say, when I, when, when I say go a play that was a drama, in Never. Jamaica, they don't. It does something. When I was a <laughs> kid, them have some everything has become comedy. comedy. You know, yeah. Yeah, this is where we. This is where we hide our trauma. Comedy, mm -hmm. and I was just like, nah. 
I want everything. I want the real story of them. Mm. I want I want to run mm. the full spectrum of the full the full gamut of the of the emotional spectrum. Mm, yeah. And that's why you have the themes. Yes. The themes. Mm. And then, and that's why I'm a handpick it. So I'm very I'm very meticulous and selective about how I put my lineups together. Mm. So I need to coach you know, come talk about how he went on a bus with a brethren for God sends his bed for rob some people. And the people them have neighborhood watch and the people them the people them blow the whistle and police shoot him out of them clothes. Wow. In wow. while I walked up on the stage. No, I did not. That's what I'm see saying. That. It's all type of all stories. Story, they know. It's like, how can I compete with that? <laughs> Let me hear that. You know? Be yourself. It's not come in. No, you know it's I mean? not. Be yourself. Everybody else is taken. It's dramatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be yourself. Yeah. Like, what a story I told Daniel. So nah, do not repeat that yeah. heated story. <laughs> do right not story. repeat that heated story. They don't have to. They don't have to. <laughs> yeah. You had to be there. But but <laughs> also, I tell you, like, that's the first I, I told that story. In a public setting, but me tell it before, but mm. mm. I used to have, have a segment called Church Chronicles. Yeah, yeah. Church Chronicles. Mm. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's the first time where <laughs> he had I could like, We had it for like three weeks. Oh, three weeks. Yeah, when anybody. Yeah. 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 Uh, the first time I actually tell the story and looking at people's eyes and see that, you know, they were ashamed. They were disgusted. They were with judgment. They were disgusted. They tell the story. Like, yeah, yeah. people would rush up. Uh, like, yeah. It was a general style. Yeah, we can see why certain things are different. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm not telling them that. Uh, it's certain things are No, feel sorry. And, yeah. And good liquor. And, and mm-hmm. Tell mm-hmm. big lies. You know, when mm-hmm. some people mm-hmm. are going through things and them say, oh, John, I'm going to shit in a church. And I was like, I'm a half member. I'm a half member. My mind goes up and say, why is up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And he called me a heathen yeah. he calls Whee! me a heathen okay <laughs> just just making sure yeah, that we that. get the distinction mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god talk about the fourth anniversary yeah. event in which i will be a special guest tour tell her yet again yes mm-hmm. why, so. why are you making him a guest because he's just like oh look at me i'm this i'm i'm doing it again yeah. like my story is <laughs> so been great a show off like why you choosing? well i mean we just we had to do it for the patriarchy you know we had to do it for the patriarchy yeah <laughs> I don't think you know what. You already You already don't know about it now. We said, no, we have to do one for the women. Yeah, man. 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 There are certain criteria that we look at when we choose it. Because, all right, so the, the, the concept for every anniversary is to bring back the best storytellers of the year. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's an anniversary all-star edition. Mm-hmm. So we look at who adhere to the rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because some man have, might have a good story, but he was up there for half an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who really adhere to the seven minutes. Yeah. Who said long story short at the beginning. All of, them, all, all of the rules. I thing. follow the rules. Yes. <laughs> and then also now... She didn't go over time, no. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. I didn't. Little bit, just little no, bit. No, no, she was good. I was, she was little good. bit. No, we said you didn't give she a longer time or the people them that night a also? longer time than I got. She oh, maybe, me say you yes, because you were saying it. I was told seven. No, I, it's, it's seven. See, I bust everything now. It's seven. <laughs> it's seven. <laughs> you tell them seven. Yeah. Well, where I work with 10. Oh, okay. Oh. If, it's yeah. a, if, it's, if it's a really good story, nobody cares how long it is. Yeah. Right, you know? Okay. So really, but well, seven, this doesn't make for just put you up on notice. Because mm-hmm. the thing is now, we, 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 we have had the challenge of, because people complain. Mm. Do we do like um, the Apollo Showtime at the Apollo? <laughs> See, yeah, uh, yeah. Do we do like the Oscars and play and play a song? <laughs> so, the gong show and just yeah. So one, one yeah. So one girl. We turn on the music for one girl. <laughs> no, you did. We turn on. We turn on. We have a, we have a theme song. This 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 this, this sixties tune. Uh, what a long story. Yeah. Um, so okay. we just play that low and bring it up and then one girl, one girl up the man and she say, "Why you know, not turn on the music for me? <laughs> you turn on, really turn on the music for me? No, but some people How long like, was she like, going? Yeah. How she long was she... going, man. She was going, man. Yeah. And it was like, it wasn't even a good story? It was good. It was good. Um, but she went, she went a bit long. And then oh. I thought, I said, you know, this is, this is dangerous because people are tell deep, intimate 
nobody has on their business card storyteller. Yeah. So we're asking people to come tell a story, and you know we have to, we have to also hold space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because long story short, it's really supposed to be a safe space for people's stories. It's not a yeah, competition. True. It's not a comedy night. Yeah. yeah. So it's to strike that balance. So that's why I am more militant in the preparation stage. Mm -hmm. I refused to submit to the preparation stage, but I trusted her. See that? <laughs> That's not true. Like, she's like, I, she's like, That's she's not like, true. you will not tell me what to do. I'm a professional. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. She's like, she's like, no. she's like I resent this. No, 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 no. no I'm no. a strong woman, and I've been doing this for years. I'm a boss, bitch. Yeah, you will not tell me how to tell my story. So hey, like, all right, cool. Hey, all right. me not gonna win, no? Yeah. 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 yeah, so no, all, all up to the night, I said, me go on. Yeah. <laughs> She was yeah. having it. Somebody said, "All right, but but at least I got the the, the, the premise of what her story yeah. was and things." Mm. Well, it was just weird because I'm like, you know, when you do it one time and then mm. you have to go repeat it, it kind of felt yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. But I was just being a gist. <laughs> you did well though. You did well. But I find I find that the more people, the more people kind of commit to the process, the better it is. The mm. one that Nara really committed to the process. Yeah. yeah. The first one he really committed. I was I was impressed. There we go. Yeah, now I humble himself yeah. and work You're with the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm humble as a man. Yeah, because because you see, you see, the thing is, you know, sometimes people are under, people are understand people now got understand the, the the gravity of what this platform is until 20, 30 years down the road. I know, said so that's mm. what I look at. This is revolutionary, in you know, mm. This has never been done. Mm. Yeah. So what we're, we're, we're chronicling the stories of our people. Yeah. Pro profiled it, but that's interviews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes. it's, so 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 your kids won't come down be able to look back and say, who was Nitty mm -hmm. Who was Delana from Renaissance? Mm -hmm. Who was Tanya Stevens? And because when you go to I've traveled. When we go to Japan, they have a museum for everything. Yeah. Mm. They have the doll, a doll museum. Mm. They have a samurai museum. Mm. They have ramen noodle soup museum. Really? <laughs> everything is meticulously recorded. Yeah. yeah. I know the thing yeah. is like even with this. They are the interviews, and some of them probably do several interviews out of the years. Mm -hmm. With this, you no, know, like you're forcing some stories out of them. Yes, and probably the interviewers are don't know. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Even forget out yeah. of them. That's what mm -hmm. we want. Yeah, yeah. Things, so that yeah. is what we want. Yeah. And what I love about this concept too is, because no interviewer would I get that church story out of them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I know this. Like stories is what keep a society going. Mm -hmm. I believe in. Like my mom is a history buff. Mm -hmm. so wow. wow. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I appreciate <laughs> history. I appreciate <laughs> the stories because really and truly that's how, you know, generations come up and then like, stop laughing. Yeah, <laughs> the sibling rivalry is really cute. Might as well play it now. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, one thing about fear story them Daniel that you come and you probably did before to see it too, at the night. Yeah. Have to include our mother. <laughs> yeah. Our mother is going to involve. Not the wrong. I, I, I love my mom. Story. I don't not know about you, but I that. love my mom. Not the wrong. Not the wrong. Anyways, but no. <laughs> she, um, <laughs> no, but it's just, to, no, I know how important mm -hmm. stories are. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, the victor tell the story, like, you know, mm -hmm. no right or wrong, but mm -hmm. it's, the story got to the victor, you mm -hmm. know? Right. And I, and I, how we come, like, you look on, like Jewish people never forget. All right. The Jayas about right. Japanese, like Asian cultures, their mm -hmm. thing go back pre history, right. pre slavery, pre colonization. Mm -hmm. Them not have them something there. Or, but for us as a as a race, mm -hmm. black people, like our stories pretty much start. Yeah. Marcus with Garvey, slavery Marcus and Marcus Are people without the there. knowledge of their past is what? Don't. Like a tree without roots. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Don't. what this is about. And I appreciate that. Like we we need to we need to keep, tell the stories and find a way to keep them for posterity, so that we can, mm -hmm. so that we're not doomed to repeat the same <coughs> mistakes Patterns. and the same mm -hmm. things. And I, I appreciate that. That was the inspiration when I did this mm -hmm. because I felt like you know we had is like trying to even try to gather the stories that even mm -hmm. like my love dance on and dance at. It was hard, you know. It's yeah. so difficult. You know, you don't know how to forget them, but. Oh, YouTube, this great digital space, like a digital library of mm -hmm. sorts. We can mm -hmm. do that. So it's, that is the same idea. The same yeah. Mindset. And even the theme that you get, man, said, this is perfect for you. Yes, like, you it was quite fitting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, worry about Just tell the story about exactly. all the I was, I was like, is it good enough? Mm -hmm. You know, like, was it good enough? That I am a like, master manifester, was yeah. Ari's, Ari's. Yeah. Ari thing. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. a beautiful night. And I was even nervous too, because sometimes mm -hmm. I wonder if the people, 
Sometimes I wonder if people find it boring or, yeah. or they only want funny. But I, it was good to have a, a purely motivational night. Yeah. yeah. And the people, the people, the people sat and held space and enjoyed it. Yeah. Because mm. truly, sometimes, you know, like, sometimes we need to laugh, but mm. sometimes we need to be motivated. We need mm. to cry. We or need educated. To educated. There you go. <laughs> and like on that, on that night, we also yeah. had Kwame McPherson, mm-hmm. who is the first Jamaican winner of an international literary prize. Yeah. yeah, the guy who he wrote won, the book he won, was... He won the Commonwealth Literary yeah, Prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Jamaican ever to win an international wow. literary prize. That's Thank impressive. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll run out of time, then I'll tell them again about this Thursday. This Thursday, the who 28th of there? September, mm-hmm. at the last... <laughs> Free Soul 2000. I got you. I got you. I got you. This can be had at spuropen.com slash long story short, S P U R R O P E N dot com. And we feature a stellar lineup ZJ Y Rush, Latoya Fry Williams, Honey B, Nama Williams, Suchman Nara. See there? <laughs> Deidre James, our MC, who will be telling her story for the first time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah yes. Said, uh, and we are Predator the Editor. Yeah. Valiant He's... Father. Wait, for real, for real? Who will say man first? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see what you said? I was like, oh, for real? We I legit believe that. I love it. Like, like, like when we hear the outrage over, when we hear the outrage over the mad song, I'm like, but Predator did this already. Uh, true, uh, true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad Where was the outrage like then? <laughs> you know. No, uh, there was outrage in our But not that. like this. Well, to be honest, I never even think there was an outrage oh, here. Because there was, was like, like some like, online thing. I, I yeah, 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 yeah. When the song travels, mm-hmm. that, that's where it gets. Yeah. So problematic. But mm-hmm. Father and Father. Um, Essina, mm-hmm. new sensation. This is her first performance. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's at Enna Manly. She has sung, um, sung back up for Cafe before too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Really I promising. And Regis, Regis mm-hmm. Stepper. Little like Miss. Mm. Little like Miss. Mm. Mm. Madeline. Well, eh, 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 eh. Yeah. yeah. That would, that's, I realize you bring a lot of... Um, well, from the, the couple 90s. Nights, yeah. 90s, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because the age group, the, dem- the demographic that goes to long story short is like in the 30 to 45 age group. Mm-hmm. Oh. So we have a great appreciation for, and then of course, them have stories to tell. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Young definitely. artists, you know, no, life experience. Yeah, them not have enough story to tell. Uh, definitely. <laughs> I, I mean, they could, but I mean, they, yeah. they have more stories to tell. You never know. <laughs> no, yeah. and their stories are interesting. Mm-hmm. I can use in a time where them not have there was no social media mm-hmm. pay, um video even like a video everything so when they might mm-hmm. tell them stories sometimes yeah, I was like this can't real right it's just so unbelievable yeah. it's so good yeah right yeah mm-hmm. well, you can't catch me the stairs of people long story short yeah i think i will lead more into tragedy this time so what will what will the people um yeah. expect yeah, what, what can, what, like what can they ex- what can like, they expect I, I think i'm going to lead a bit more into tragedy oh what's the Science. theme Anything goes. Yeah. Anything goes. Mm-hmm. So what we're saying is that they're the best of the best and we trust them <laughs> to come with a good story. And so far, I've heard the gist of every story and it's going to be an amazing night. Oh, you heard that? I've heard the gist. Oh, yes, wow. Them. The gist. So you not tell we. Four. No, we can't do that. <clears throat> nah, man, can't, no, do that. can't do that. Can't do that. Ah. the night in it. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Let me just give a preview. I like a sneak peek. Tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah, mm-hmm. tragedy. Don't do surprise when me shift it towards you. Me know you get it far. Did the double time. Don't stop. Me want for right. I fit you into my schedule. All day and night. Yeah, me love what you do with girl. I'm in a lovely mood. When I'm next to you. I feel the rhythm and joy the good Na call you na slow tip ma call you a bitch na call you na mud Full of tough talk, silent how buck We kiss and we fight and make up on the fuck If I no love this, me sure say I lost If she want fuck now, she jump on a bus If me can't pick her up You're with me and you hold me Yeah, me no say you adore me You stay up on my mind, boy I found myself a rude boy Me say that come 